Hey y'all, welcome back to The Ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and you know my daughter Francesca, and the newest addition to our family, Stella Lucia. So, while mommy goes and gets ready, we're going to try to give her a little break and multitask by defoliating this uh, money tree, clump style money tree. Um, it's been in training for, this is its third year, so Francesca's going to help me out so I can hold the baby. And we're going to get it defoliated first so that you can get a better uh, look at the structure and we can see what we're pruning today. Uh, as you can see, it's been growing extremely strong. Can you just spin it for me, baby? Really, really strong for the past couple months since uh, I did a hard pruning on it. And um, I'll show you an experiment that went great. So uh, once we get it defoliated, we'll show that. So go ahead, Fran, right where there's anything just below the leaf about an inch from where the trunk line is, you just prune it off. Yeah. So defoliation is different than pruning. Uh, so defoliating, you're just removing the leaves on a tree. Yeah. Yep. Every single one the same way. Oh. Yep. So Franny's asking if she's doing all of them. And yes, um, with a strong growing uh, tree or clump style like this that gets pruned many times a year, you can totally defoliate it when it's at a nice, strong, healthy point, and you'll get some back budding, and it'll kick off leaves in no time. Usually, within two weeks, you'll have some baby leaves poking out, looking good. So you just go around systematically, remove all the leaves, and like I said, that gives you a look at the uh, structure of the trees. Oh my gosh, that's a that's a whole trunk. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of bloopers there. Um, <laughs> it's not a big deal because it's a really strong growing tree, um, but Franny, I know Stella, don't cry. She didn't mess up that badly. <laughs> Franny pruned um, the whole branch with five leaves on it. And you probably see it now. That was the new growth, <laughs> both of the new growths that we had on that hard cut that was the experiment so if you can't see um, we had one branch here and one branch here this branch was growing very awesome through these two tree trunks and on the other side so what we'll do is once it buds back we'll just train the next branch to do the same thing so it's a fast growing tree and easy lesson to learn um, so go ahead keep defoliating just the leaves and then maybe we'll do the branching afterwards but good lesson to have, right? Yep. All right. So she's learning early on, and now you guys learned. <laughs> Defoliating is different than pruning. So what she did by taking that branch off, those two branches off, um, that is considered pruning. Yes. yes. So typically defoliating happens before pruning anyway. So she just took a shortcut. So whatever, it's all good. Stelly, you fighting a little cry here? You want to sit up and see the camera? Is that what's wrong? Okay. All right, pretty baby. Hold we'll that up. Yeah, you could spin it to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you're doing, Franny. Doing a good job, big sister. Okay, baby. Cool, keep spinning it. There's still leaves, right? You're okay, baby. You're okay. Yeah, you still. All right, pause for a diaper change. All right, so big sister Franny handled that poop diaper quickly and efficiently. Thank you, Fran. So taking a look, you see this was a gift from a friend. So uh, the only thing that I've added to the landscape is this frog that's supposed to um, I don't know, give good luck and prosperity, 
something like that. Prosperity. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so the reason why I had chopped this one down so hard last time is because as you can see, it starts really straight and that's kind of how it continued on. So I pruned it back hard till it was just a stick and then these two branches grew. So I'm very confident that they will start to grow again and I will do my best to weave the new branching in here because I want this clump to just kind of, you know, really come together, grow into one unit at the bottom and then be weaving coming up, maxing out its height about here. So today I'm going to continue on and prune. Um, let's see this. It's all good, baby girl. Um, see there is like some some white stone glued down and then this nice shiny stone up front in the plant thing. I don't know how much I like that. And then there's this uh, ground covering. Uh, it comes and goes green to yellow. Uh, and then my little frog. So why don't I get it back on the tripod and we will prune the rest of this up. All right. Wow. Really giving us a challenge here, Stella. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to stick with the height that we pruned down to last time. A lot of vertical growth after that. Not that much branching, um, but I did like how it filled out. It looked pretty cool, so we will replicate that. There, this one's dividing up here, but that's too high already. And it looks like there's some buds in these inner nodes where the other leaves were. They look like they want to come out and typically those will be more branches than just leaves so that'll be cool so fran you've been doing great just need you to make four cuts okay i want you to take this one down to here in between there yep okay i'm leaving a little bit of green because even though it does back butt onto the hardwood i think if i'm going to get some divide up here that's when it's going to take place um yep just kind of nip this one same height this one, same height. Boom. This one, go here. Yeah, that works. And then this one, take it down to there. Boom. So I'll give it a little spin ski and then I'm gonna get hot on this baby duty because <laughs> she's gonna need something soon. So anyways, hope you enjoy this video on the uh, money tree clump style uh, for myself and my family, Francesca, Stella, Lucia, and my wife, Laura. I just want to send you all all the best and I hope you're staying well out there and enjoy some time with your family. Take care. Cheers.